In the news this week, the Guggenheim Abu Dhabi Contractor Award, District 1 awards contracts for 25 residential buildings, approval of a five-year plan for Hatta, a premium residential development for TAFE in the KSA, and partnerships signed for Alula Regeneration, Expo updates and more. Well, hi there. My name is Phil Higgins and this is the Ventures Onsite News update for the Middle East region. Well, in Abu Dhabi, a joint venture of Trojan General Contracting and Six Construct, subsidiary of the B6 Group, secured a contract to build the much-awaited Guggenheim Museum. The joint venture will be responsible for the museum's construction and associated infrastructure and surrounding marine works. Construction of the museum is expected to be completed in 2025. The Guggenheim Abu Dhabi will be located in Sadiat Cultural District alongside the Louvre Abu Dhabi and Zayed National Museum. Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum City District 1 in Dubai has awarded a raft of contracts for the construction of 25 waterfront residential buildings with a total of 1,464 apartments. The contracts, which also cover infrastructure works, have been awarded to Trans Emirates Contracting LLC, Beitia General Contracting, Bin Laden Contracting Group, and Parkway International Contracting for all of the work. The contractors will mobilize immediately with infrastructure works due for completion in 12 months and construction of the 25 mid and low rise apartment buildings scheduled to finish within 14 to 24 months, depending on the size and current construction status. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and ruler of Dubai, approved a five-year Hatta Master Development Plan last week, which maps out the development of the area over the next two decades. The plan aims to promote well-being, generate investment opportunities for its people, support domestic tourism, attract investments and boost public-private partnerships. Some of the plans include construction of tracks for bicycles and scooters in a 120-kilometer network connecting key attractions and residential areas, including the longest mountain bike track in the UAE and a mountainside health resort. Saudi Arabia real estate company Dar Al Akhan signed an agreement with Madinat Al Waroud Housing Development Company to jointly set up a premium residential project with an investment of 985 million US dollars in TAFE in the kingdom's southwest region. The project will be developed on an area of 1 million square meters while fully respecting and preserving the topography and unique environment features of TAFE. The construction is expected to begin in the first quarter of 2022 and will be completed in 2026. The project will offer premium residential units ranging from apartments, villas and townhouses, in addition to a variety of commercial facilities and amenities. The Royal Commission for Alula has signed a landmark strategic partnership to accelerate the regeneration of the historic city in Saudi Arabia's northwest. The agreement with ACOM and an international French consortium comprising Aegis, Assystem and CTEC set out a development timeline based on three phases that lead up to 2035 as it moves from the beginning stage of implementation following the launch of the redevelopment in April this year. The first phase of the development will see over 15 billion US dollars invested in Alula, which will include social, economic and sustainable projects in five unique hubs with a focus on hospitality, infrastructure, arts and culture and social and community development. Well, the Saudi capital submitted a formal request to host Expo 2030 under the theme, The Era of Change, leading the planet to a foresighted tomorrow. The bid will be led by the Royal Commission for Riyadh City. For the UAE's Expo 2020 Dubai opened last month. The organizers were expecting the visitor numbers to exceed 1 million in October, with 770,000 visitors recorded between the 1st and the 17th of October. These are some of the pavilions photographed by Jerry O'Leary Photography, an amazing architectural photographer who has brilliantly captured some of the unique architectural designs from some of the 192 countries taking part in the event. 
exhibiting the three themes of sustainability, mobility, and opportunity. We've added a link in the description to Jerry's website so you can see more of his amazing photography. Well, as per the Ventures Onsite Project Tracker, some of the major projects awarded to contractors in the month of October include Crown Plaza Hotel in Riyadh, Jufar Gas Plant, both projects in Saudi Arabia, New Masilla Beach in Kuwait, Litan Resort in Qatar, Nord Angela School in Abu Dhabi in the UAE, and the renovation of the Southern Runway Air Corridors for the Muscat International Airport, just to name a few. Well, please don't forget to subscribe if you're new to our channel so we can keep you up to date with the latest construction news for the region and all future developments here at Ventures Onsite. Well, we hope this news update has helped you stay informed so you stay competitive. My name's Phil Higgins, and this is Ventures Onsite Live.